guys, it's Sarah. And today we are going to do a tag video. We are going to do the unpopular opinions 2.0 tag. This is a play off of the original unpopular opinions tag, which I have done before. And these are all new questions. <laughs> so I was excited to see that. And these new questions were created by Elliot Brooks. So I will leave her video down below as well. If you guys want to go and check her out, I love her channel. And I thought they were good questions. So we are going to um, drink some coffee and talk some schmack. Not too much. I tried to keep it positive over here, but a little bit. Okay, so the first question is a genre great in quotation marks. So something very popular in a certain genre that you don't get the hype for. Um, we're going to go with romance and I didn't get the hype for The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. Now, not to say that my opinion is correct and this book wasn't so great. But when I read it, I feel like the hype was so big for that one that people were calling it their all-time favorite romance book. And I read it and I was like, eh. <laughs> but here's the thing. I still have it. I didn't get rid of it because I feel like I need to revisit it because I don't know if I just went in with too high expectations and maybe if I went in with a little bit lower expectations, I might enjoy it more or... If maybe it just wasn't the right time for me to read it when I read it, and maybe that affected my rating, that's very possible. So I don't know, but I, I remember finishing that book and going, I don't get it. <laughs> I got the book, I didn't get the hype, and I had no desire to move on in this series because there's like three or four books in that series now. So, um, but it is something I plan to maybe possibly revisit and see. Like I said, I still have it. I didn't get rid of it. So we'll see how that ends up going. But as of right now, that would be my answer. Question number two is an adaptation you wish was never made. <laughs> and this is an interesting answer because I'm going to say Divergent. The Divergent series by Veronica Roth was made into a movie franchise. Here's the thing though. They really jacked it up. <laughs> um, I did not read Divergent. I have not read those books. I was interested in it when it first came out and it was so popular, especially after Hunger Games and everyone was reading that. And it was um, huge. I never read them though. I don't really have an interest in reading them, to be honest. Like just my tastes have changed a little bit and like, I don't think I would pick that up now. But I remember the movies coming out and I think, I can't remember if people liked the movies, but then they never finished it. They made the first two, but they never did the third book. And I think there was a plan to make the third book into a TV series. Why would you make two movies and then go to TV? That doesn't make any sense. And they never did. And like, it's done now. So my question is, why was all that effort and money spent when you're not even going to see it through to completion? That made no sense to me. Um... I feel like they should have just Lord of the Rings did it and just filmed all three at once. You know what I mean? Just get it all done. But nope, they didn't do that. And now it's dead in the water. And so to me, that just seemed like a big waste and a big disservice to that series. Even though it's not a series I'm interested in reading, I still feel like that's not cool. Okay, so a book or series you have to fight your inner snob about because other people just don't get it. Okay. <laughs> so... I am not one to say like, oh, you just didn't understand it or you didn't read it correctly because I've heard that people have said that to me and I'm like, that's not a thing. Stop it. So um, I would never say that to somebody, uh, but I get real, I get, I get defensive about Addie LaRue by B.E. Schwab, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, because to me, that book was so beautiful and it was, it just felt like a perfect book to me. And so when it gets criticized or people don't like it, I'm like, Ugh, what, why? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Even though I do, I get it. Like, well, I don't get it, but I don't have to. It's not my job to understand your feelings. That's not, I don't like, whatever. Your feelings are your feelings and they're valid and it doesn't matter what I think. Um, but sometimes I'm like, but it was, but it was great. Like, but it was great. So that's, that's all you need to know. It was great. Sometimes I keep my inner snob and check about that one. <laughs> okay. Um, question four is a book or series you're tired of everyone hating on. 
oh my gosh, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Can you guys just stop? <sighs> now, here's the thing. <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't like it, and that's fine. My problem is when there are all these videos going around about the Akatar series and people purposefully hating on it and criticizing it and calling it disgusting names. And to me, it feels like they're doing that because of the popularity of the videos. I don't think that people really hate it as much as they say they do. I really don't. Um, that just, I got so tired of seeing those and they haven't really been going around much anymore, but there was a time where they really were. And I was just like, if you didn't like it, then stop talking about it. So you didn't like it and moved on. Why do you have to have an entire video or multiple videos? Hey, let's read the entire series and like hate read it. If you hate it, why are you still reading it? You're doing it for the views and you're doing it because it's like popular or um, controversial or whatever. Like, just stop it. <laughs> So I don't know, that, that got really old pretty quickly. Okay, question five. A book or series everyone thinks is powerful, but you didn't connect with? I won't even say it because you guys know how I feel about this book. I just can't. Okay, uh, question six. It's a character you don't get the hype for. Chloe Brown. <laughs> I didn't get, that's another one that I didn't get the hype for. I read that book and I really just did not like it, guys. I just, I didn't get the hype around this book and around her. And I didn't think it was that great. And everyone loved the love story. And I'm like, I thought it was kind of gross. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it just didn't, it didn't sit well with me at all. And people love it. And I I don't get it. That's one that I don't get. I don't get the love for her as a character. I thought she was kind of annoying. And I don't know, just, okay. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. That's mine. Sorry. Okay, question seven. A book or series everyone wants an adaptation for, but you don't. And this was hard because I was like, I don't know what everybody wants to see an adaptation of. Um, so I just kind of went with something that I, I just kind of don't want to see an adaptation. And we're going to circle back to Addie LaRue because I don't, I don't want someone to mess it up. <laughs> like, to me, that is such a gorgeous book. And I just don't want Hollywood to mess it up. I really don't. And I think there is going to be an adaptation. I think it's already been announced that it is, it's at least been acquired. And I'm just like, Ugh. I can't guarantee I'm going to watch it. It really just depends on who they cast as Addie and when a preview comes out, if it does, because sometimes these things never end up happening. But um, if it does, like what the preview looks like, I'm very nervous about it. So... And I don't know if it's supposed to be a movie or a TV series. I have no idea how they're going to do it. Um, I think they could definitely make it a TV series because you're going through different timelines that you could really expand on. And that would be a lot of fun. But, oh, gosh, I don't know. Like, it just makes me so nervous. Um, yeah. So that's going to be one I'm going to be very skeptical about <laughs> if it comes to fruition. Okay. Last question is, a book or series you think people have a bias toward and don't really love or hate as much as they claim? Okay, this is, um, oh, I hate to even say this because it's a fellow booktuber and I mean, I don't, I don't know her. She doesn't know me. It's fine. But I feel like maybe Christine Micho's books um, only because I have actually heard another booktuber who read her book, her first book when it came out and said, I cannot give you an unbiased opinion about this because Christine and I are friends. <laughs> So I'm going to give this book a positive review. Um, and so I loved that honesty. Like, there's no way I can give you like an unbiased opinion because I know her personally and blah, blah, blah. Um, and she did give it a high rating. But um, I just, I don't know, because I tried to read her first book and I could not, I did not like it at all. It was, 
See, I hate to talk negatively, but I, it was a little painful for me to read it. I just, I couldn't. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to say that. I think that's a, I think that's, um, a book slash author that I think people have a natural bias towards, especially people who are reviewing it for her as their friend. And so it can get a little tricky that way. Okay, guys, those are the questions for the Unpopular Opinions Tag 2.0. Tons of fun and different questions, which I like because some people will do um, the Unpopular Opinions Tag multiple times because over time their answers can change, which is totally fine. Or they do like a more updated video of it. But I like that these were different questions. So um, again, I will leave Elliot link down below. Please go check her out. She's fantastic for science fiction and fantasy. If you're into those genres, that's majority of what she reads. And she's a great channel for those recommendations. And let me know some of your answers to some of these questions down below. Do you agree with me on some of them? Do you disagree with me on some of them? That's totally fine. Uh, let me know your opinions. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.